In my previous videos, I have produced different types of biochars, like this biochar that are made from walnut shells. Now I want to find out what these biochars can do for plant growth. I have mixed biochar and soil and put each mixture into one of these little pots here. Now I will put in seeds, see how the seeds germinate and grow into seedlings. These are the three biochars I tested it, plus just sand as a control. I charred corn stover in a crucible and a furnace, walnut shells in a steel bucket, and softwood inside a pumpkin. Please check out my previous videos on how I made these biochars. It is now 12 days later since I started this barley growth trial to see how different biochars affect their growth. This is the control. Just sand without biochar. As you can see, the plants look very sorry. With biochar, the plants look much healthier. To quantify the effect the biochars had on the plant growth, I measured the length of each plant and then I calculated the total length of all the plants per pot. And here are the results. The total length of barley plants in the pot with the corn stover biochar was 96 cm, which is the third place. The pot with the biochar made from walnut shells grew plants with a total length of 105 cm. Second place, and with 138 cm of total plant length. The winner, wood biochar that I made inside a pumpkin. And here's a side-by-side -side comparison with the total plant length per pot. And this concludes our trial. I must admit, I find it a little bit underwhelming that biochar made from wood, also known as charcoal, performed best on early stage crop growth. However, charcoal has been in use in agriculture for quite a long time. Certainly there's a reason. I now have a good benchmark that I can use to test other biochars against in future crop growth trials.